I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Like she on cloud 10 or under a rock. How you heard the mother word? What's good, y'all? It's yours truly. Once again, Heartbreak Ace. If you're familiar with my content or not, hit that like, comment, subscribe so the algorithm can give you this content every time I upload. Because you, I hate really have to say that, but you know, the algorithm don't be rocking with me like that. I ain't jacking it. No ditty. You don't got to be my friend, algorithm. That's why she snuck. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. While we here though, topic of discussion. My boy DJ Academics was going live stream again, once again, as always. And um, he was speaking on uh, Donald Trump, the former president. He has been indicted and convicted and found guilty on 34 charges of fraud amongst other charges. You ain't know? Spin the block. Court, uh, what do we know about the jury at this point? The jury has just entered the courtroom, David, filing right past former President Trump on their way in. Most of the jurors appeared to avoid eye contact as they took their seats in the jury box. The judge is now formally reading into the stand, record. Stand the by, Aaron. Stand by. A verdict. We are learning right now, Aaron. The four person is standing in that courtroom. Let's wait for reporting from inside the courtroom. Uh, the control room listening to this very closely. Aaron, you are as well from our team inside the courtroom and in the overflow. Uh, the verdict is now being read. As you can see on the screen here, count one, guilty. Count two, the former president found guilty. Count three, guilty. We await count four here. As you can see, the first three counts, the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, found guilty of three felony counts so far. The four person in that courtroom. Count four, guilty. Count five, guilty. Count six, guilty. As we continue to enter in what we're learning from the courtroom, it's our belief that uh, first 19 counts, I'm being told, the former president has been found guilty of Counts 20 through 23 found guilty as well. So correct me, control room, all the way through count 23 now found guilty. We are now up to count 26. And count 27 found guilty as well. So again, I'm going to pause here. He's been found guilty. 31 counts now of guilty as we wait for the graphic to catch up to the reporting coming from the courthouse. Count 33 and counts 34 coming in right now. Guilty on all counts. This jury in New York City, a jury of his peers finding the former president guilty on every single felony count brought against him by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Aaron Katursky outside the courthouse. Let's go to you for first reaction. An incredible verdict on this day in May, late May, the former president of the United States convicted as charged. 34 counts of falsifying business records and David, as the crowd outside this courthouse found out, a big cheer went up from opponents of the former president uh, who had been massing in the park across the street from the courthouse, just a, a whooping cheer and they continue to make a lot of noise. There have been supporters of the former president here as well. It looks like many what of them are the hanging in there but are remaining silent as the former president has been convicted on all 34 counts of falsifying business records, meaning, David, the jury believed the Manhattan District Attorney's theory of the case that the former president falsified these records to cover up a conspiracy to corrupt the 2016 election by hiding lewd stories from his past. David. Aaron, as we know from the instructions from the judge in this case, Juan Mershon, telling that jury that they could not convict solely on the testimony of Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's longtime uh, former fixer, friend, and attorney, uh, that there must be corroborating evidence in this case that they also believe in coming up with any sort of verdict. 
I, I glean from that then in the discussions within that jury room, and we will learn more in the days ahead, uh, that they then pointed to other evidence, and we know about the request that they look at testimony from David Pecker, for example, to be reread uh, back to them this morning, that that is the kind of corroborating evidence that they must have leaned in on to come up with 34 um, guilty findings on every count here. The former president found guilty as we're on the air this afternoon. Aaron, again, testimony from David Pecker and other evidence presented by the prosecution they must have leaned on, uh, not solely the testimony of Michael Cohen here. They were told they couldn't. Wait, so, 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 okay, he's found, apparently these are felony counts. They're trying to big bring Uncle Trump to jail. Good doozy. Well, nah. Let me see what let me see what Trump done tweeted. Real Donald Trump. Uh, he ain't tweet yet. Donald Trump Jr. Let's 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 see what's going on there. Guilty on all counts, Democrats have succeeded in their years-long attempt to turn America into a third-world shithole. November 5th is our last chance to save it. Such bullshit. Is he going to jail? Like, I can't tell if he's going to jail or not. Okay, can we get, like... It's showing outside the courthouse, nigga. Nah, nigga, show us what's going on inside. Here we go. Oh, we uh, just seen some shit. What that means. Because, for example, when it comes <coughs> to sentencing, it's not as if the sentence is going to involve 34 counts where each count ends up being served consecutively. There is almost no doubt that whatever sentence happens here, the the sentence will be concurrent meaning all of it will be served at the same time for the 34 so in you effect talk about a sentence yeah. so let me just let me stop you right there because viewers at home are going, are going to ask immediately what does this mean could the former president uh, be sentenced to potential uh, time behind bars we we know there is the potential for that though extremely unlikely for a first time offender correct i think it is unlikely this is the lowest level felony in the state nigga 34 felonies what <laughs> felonies but there's also different levels of felony this is a class e felony the lowest kind uh, donald trump has never been convicted of a crime before i think as a result it is unlikely um not impossible that he would be sentenced to prison time in connection with this case there are other options right there is probation uh i, I think the other potential option could be home confinement can you imagine that and in, in an effort if it were to happen before the election someone who wants to be out on the campaign trail again i think any serving of a sentence though very unlikely to happen before the election. A number of things will happen first. First, he'll do an interview with the probation department. That is typical in any case. You have a meeting where you talk to a, he's gonna to have to have this meeting with a probation officer because the probation department then recommends what sentence they think the person ought to get. And then number two is a sentencing happen weeks, months ahead. Um, there's gonna be appeals in this case, et cetera. So I think that the actual serving of the sentence, whatever it is, uh, is probably some time away. Some time away. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. This this is probably a good thing for Trump. When I see shit like this, I'm like, man, I'm taking my... Nigga, I wasn't even gonna vote this year, nigga. I, I gotta vote now. I gotta get that nigga Trump in there. <laughs> nigga, I'm sorry. I'm going for... I, I'm rocking with Uncle Trump, bro. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas say, bro. <laughs> Way Judge Mer Juan Mershon. I, I was going... Hey, y'all, there you have it, you know? But, you know, that political shit... It, it be weird with that, man, because... um. He got 34 charges he found guilty of. 34 felony charges might have had add that to you. And that's not even certain that he's still going to do jail time for that. Not that I'm wishing jail time on him. Because, I mean, whether you like it or not, compared to what the world is now, compared to what it was prior, when it comes to the presidents, from Joe Biden and Trump, Do I need to say anything? Which one you prefer to have? He simply is just a money maker, a billionaire. And that's what he focused on. He also put money in all our pockets. You know? Uh, 
And for the most part, he's not afraid to say how he really feel. Wouldn't you want your president to tell you exactly how you feel? Instead of tippy toeing around some shit, lying to you? I mean, damn if we do, damn if we don't, regardless of whoever the president is going to be, especially after Obama. But when it comes to the contestants right now, I prefer it to be Trump. But put it in perspective, he been found guilty on all these charges. So could he have some foul play when Hillary Clinton was running? So did Hillary really, really, I can't even talk today. Sorry, y'all. Did Hillary, did she really win in the 2017 election? Is this karma coming back to bite him in his ass or what? I don't think so because the fact that he got 34 charges and it's still not certain that he'll be doing time tells you the power that he got in this world and he just too likable when it comes to this. And Joe Biden, especially compared to him and the other ones contestants, Trump is more likable than the other contestants. So let's be honest. Unless he do jail time, Donald Trump, 98% Accurately will be my opinion, but it's accurate. I'm 98%, 99%, pretty much sure that he will be our next president come election. I'm pretty sure. On my birthday, January 20th, when we have our new president, 99% of the time is it's it's gonna be Donald Trump. But that's all I have for y'all right now. Just a little breaking news. You know what I mean? Let me know how y'all feel. Leave a comment down below. You know, you know, love each other as always. Till next time, yours truly, Heartbreak.